Step 3. Repeater nodes. In this step, we're going to cover all the various types of repeaters that we have, uh, and repeater nodes that we have uh, talked about before. We're going to begin with the simplest one, and that's the first generation repeater node, or 1G repeater node. Uh, this is the most basic repeater node, and uh, it can be equipped with quantum memories, either in the form of a single memory or multiple memories per link. It can do some uh, simple processing, such as single and two qubit gates, and it can perform single qubit measurements. The important thing about 1G repeater node is that it has only two interfaces. One interface connects to a neighbor to the left, and one interface connects to the neighbor to the right. The responsibilities of 1G repeater nodes are the following. Uh, the node needs to perform entanglement swapping, so splice uh, link level entanglement into longer distance entanglement, as well as needs to take part in error management via purification. To remind you, purification can only detect errors, it cannot correct them. If you want to correct errors, we have to move up to 2G repeater node. This node is more advanced than 1G repeater node, but again, it's equipped with multiple quantum memories. It can per perform simple processing, such as single qubit gates and two qubit gates, and do single qubit measurements. The crucial difference is that it's capable of error correction. So it can encode the physical state of the qubit uh, and, the and its logical information that it's representing into a logical uh, code comprised of many physical qubits and run syndrome measurements and recovery operations. But again, it only has two interfaces, one to the left neighbor and one to the right neighbor. The responsibilities are very similar. It needs to perform entanglement swapping, but because now the bell pairs are encoded into um, error correcting codes, this entanglement swapping operation is more complex in terms of the physical operations that the node needs to apply. And it take, takes part in the error management process via quantum error correction. The last type of repeater node is the router. The quantum router is the most advanced out of these three nodes that we're talking about in this step. Again, it, has, it is equipped with quantum memories. It can perform single and two qubit unitaries, as well as single qubit measurements. The big difference is that it has multiple interfaces, not just two. And this is where the routing happens. The responsibilities of a quantum router is to run the full suite of protocols governing network operations. And as the name suggests, it takes part in routing. Imagine that you have three interfaces connected to a single router. It's the job of the router to determine wh where to perform entanglement swapping and entangle which neighbors. Also, it governs the network border. So if one quantum node is trying to distribute entanglement with another uh, quantum node that's in a different network, uh, it has to set up this uh, entanglement via the quantum router, which communicates with, from one network one to network two. This is how the internetworking magic happens. Also, quantum router needs to be able to speak uh, many different languages, mainly 1G, 2G, possibly 3G and RGS. Some of the links that are connecting to the quantum router might be using the first generation of quantum repeaters. Some other links might use second generation and so on. The router needs to be able to handle all of these uh, complexities. 3G is another form of uh, quantum error correction where the information is encoded into a quantum error code, quantum error correcting code, and sent as a one state. So it, it doesn't use teleportation to communicate information. And RGS are repeater graph states, which we have covered in our link architecture uh, in our um, previous lesson on various types of links. So the responsibilities of the quantum router are um, quite, quite many which uh, distinguishes it from just uh, normal uh, 1G and 2G routers. In the next step, we're going to talk about other types of support nodes. See you there.